What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I have a vanilla shaders, kind of no shaders, add-on that you guys can download. This was specifically made for console like PlayStation and Xbox and Nintendo Switch. And uh, yeah, you guys can also play on um, Pocket Edition and Windows 10 like I am. Uh, there's a couple of different features for each version, but uh, for the most part it should still work and you should have some really cool effect. Uh, now what I did was I wanted to create something that would give the shaders effect or something kind of cool that would replicate as if you had a shaders for these versions. Uh, so that way you could actually kind of still enjoy Minecraft in kind of a different way. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of go over what I have so far. So first off, I have moving clouds up in the sky. Yes, I do have a skybox equipped with this. Uh, only um, Pocket Edition and Windows 10 will see the skybox, uh, which you can kind of somewhat see. Uh, but the clouds will be moving, uh, which is pretty neat. Most of the time when you're playing, you're only going to be able to see part of the sky anyway, and that's how I designed the sky, because no one's going to be playing like this, looking up and turning and stuff. Uh, uh, but from far off distance, you'll be able to see nice moving skies like you kind of want. I also have, uh, of course, a slow moving waving feature for the trees, uh, which I thought was cool. I have full on grass blocks as well. All the trees do uh, kind of move over. Also, I do have my falling leaves. So the falling leaves will actually uh, fall when you're running around through trees, standing under trees or doing something like that. And uh, let's go ahead and check out the water. So I have some really cool water as well. Uh, so you might not be able to see it, but maybe you can. You can see that the water is moving. And this is kind of a new feature that I added uh, that not a lot of people kind of do uh, using the textures. Uh, so I created this new water that doesn't have these crazy ugly lines, but they actually give an animated cool effect. Like the water is moving with the transparency so you can see in the ocean. Now the further down that it is, it actually is darker to see in the water. Uh, plus you can actually look up in the water and stuff and it looks really neat. Uh, but if you were to fly, say over here where it's less transparent, it's not as deep, so... Or it's uh, more transparent, it's not as deep, so like right here it's kind of clear. Uh, over here in this uh, ravine kind of river, uh, you can kind of see that the water is more transparent. And you can kind of see the, the flowing of the water a lot more over here than you can in the ocean. Uh, and it looks much nicer when you're actually playing the game and stuff. So I thought that was really cool, as well as grass moves. Uh, you know, all the typical normal stuff, guys. So there's part of the skybox right there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. it. It's it doesn't have much of a shadow effect. Uh, now it's not really like a shader. I used no shader code uh, for this uh, particular add-on, uh, but I tried to replicate a lot with this feature. Now I do have sandstone, sand, sandstorms, and blizzards. So I'm just gonna run the command to make them run properly here. So we're just gonna do. Um, actually yeah so i'm just gonna do particle and we're just gonna run the snow particle uh so let's just do that right there boom so there's like the blizzard effect it gives this uh fogging area when it's and this is only in the snow so when you're running in the snow you'll get this it'll start snowing and you'll have like this fog effect and then i also have the sandstorm so if you could want to run the sandstorm maybe uh, if I could spell, uh, if you want to make videos or something. So let's just run the sandstorm, and there you go. And like I said, it's just a, I just started it very quickly. It'll run and play, and it'll be really hard to see. But that was the sandstorms. Of course, we have falling leaf and everything. Uh, moving deals. We have moving clouds above, which I love the clouds. They look really nice, especially the how I used to make those. So um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know. Uh, and plus you're going to be looking at the files. Some of you are going to be looking at the files to see how I did it as well. I uh, can't wait to see what other people make using this method as well. Look at the water. I just love the water. So good. Maybe it doesn't look good on the video itself, but it actually does look good on the game itself. Uh, it's so nice. But yeah, that is pretty much it. That's all I added for this. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you guys like this. You want me to continue to update it? What do you want me to do with this? Uh, how should I continue to, to create this pack? Uh, what should I add, change, and do everything? Uh, also, real quick, if you go to the settings and you just go to the video settings, uh, you can turn the brightness down. 
uh, and that will actually make the game kind of a, a more of a shader feel and I created the lighting for the environment to not be as dark so that way when you're playing in the day and you want to put brightness on zero it actually could put shadowing a little bit better and it's not as dark so you can actually still see and play the game uh, on that if that's something that you guys want to do as well uh, I do not recommend using any shaders with this vanilla shader style because it's gonna look horribly horribly bad this is not made to be with another shader this was made for console to kind of replicate a shader or other people that might not have a very strong device that they can run this and it would be very very well run uh, it's very easy it doesn't lag uh, it's pretty good and you know that's what that's for I have all the fancy stuff enabled now this is something if you're playing on like Windows 10 uh, and maybe Xbox or pocket dish if you have any of the settings uh, I recommend putting your render distance at at least 16 14 is fine but 16 is best uh, particle render distance should be at 100 but you can run it at zero I run it in 100 if your computer or whatever can handle these settings although they don't need them and I'll show you just a second so I'm just gonna put this at 10 I'm gonna turn particle distance down I have anti um, I don't even know how you say it, alizing at 8 and I have the textile on so I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna turn that down to 1 and we're just gonna see what it looks like now so it'll have it'll be like laggy and load in a minute so yeah the clouds still kind of move but they're not as bright they're not as white uh, the actual water is a little bit more darker it kind of brings up a little bit the texturing is not as bad you kind of start to see the lining effects and that's just not that good but you could still kind of get away with it in the transparency areas like over there it does look quite nice uh, as well as the actual um, Moving of the trees is still kind of nice. Uh, the clouds are still nice, though. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want, you can play around with those settings. I just recommend, uh, you know, just doing it to whatever's best for your computer. Like I said, that's all you have to do. Just mess around with these, and it'll kind of change how it is based on the HD kind of... Um, textures and stuff that I was using to replicate this shader pack but that is pretty much it for the video guys thank you for watching please leave a like let's try and hit 75 likes for this video that'd be awesome I'll see you in the next one I'm Dacon Black Rose and I'm out